Hi guys, Michael here. This is a short video about um, using Google Classroom in the most efficient way possible, or what I consider to be best practice, specifically for remote learning during the coronavirus pandemic that we're all experiencing. But if you're watching after the pandemic is over, I'm sure you'll find plenty of useful tips in this video. So let's go. So this will be specifically for my school, but if you're watching this from elsewhere, welcome aboard. You're more than welcome to take some ideas from this as well. Okay, so first things first, the stream. Uh, when you're posting to the stream, keep relevant to that lesson in one post. Don't keep posting more posts over and over uh, in that session. Keep it nice and simple. Uh, you can add resources that, um, as you need them. You can choose to post to less students if you need to or if you need a different, a different post for different students for whatever reason, you have that option. You can also post into other classes as well. In the People tab, you can select students to mute them if they're being bad. That's not ideal because we don't want students to be muted. We need to give them a voice. Use your professional discretion for that. For the stream, you want to make sure it's not overly cluttered. So in the cog, which is where the settings are, go down to students can post and comment, only comment, or teachers can post or comment. The best one is students can only comment. Make sure it is set to that. That way they can't be posting things in your absence and they can just comment below your preset up posts. Classwork on the stream, I would recommend setting that to hide notifications. If you show all the assignments on the stream, it becomes incredibly convoluted and busy. As you can see now, there's a whole heap of notifications about things before we get down to my first post. So it's best just to keep the um, assignments in the classwork tab and keep the stream for the conversations that are happening. There's a new feature here where you can integrate Google Meet. However, as of the time of this recording, um, our school isn't using it. So just make sure you know what your school is or isn't using. But that's a thing just to be aware of that that is there. In the Classwork tab, you want to organize your topics. So you do that by creating um, a topic here or when you create an assignment you can create the topic here so create a new topic as you're making an assignment speaking of creating an assignment here's one that I prepared a little earlier when you create an assignment make sure that you put all of your resources into the one assignment so that students aren't looking around for things adding other materials can all be done from here YouTube a file from your computer links to other websites and anything from Google Drive when you are getting students to complete some sort of worksheet or whatever that is um, make sure it's a Google Doc or a Google slideshow um, you can be creative like that uh, don't use uh, Microsoft Word for them to then have to download and fill out and then upload again back into Google Classroom. Uh, it just becomes too convoluted if they're using Word because, and also you can't monitor their progress. But if you're using a Google Doc, for example, um, you can actually monitor them as they go and they don't have to download and upload and all that stuff. You can create that here or you might have already pre-made one and you can attach it from Google Drive which will bring up your most recent docs there. When you add your um, worksheet or whatever you want to call it for your student, make sure that it isn't view but it is set to make a copy for each student. That way every student will get a copy of the assignment to work on. In the instructions, be very explicit about it. Um, complete the worksheet attached. For example, this is your copy. When finished, hand in this assignment. So when students finish an assignment, there's a hand in button for them to click on. No need to email it or share it because it is already attached here. That's something that some students haven't understood yet. So students need to learn that. And you can mention about other resources, whatever you want to say in the instructions, but be explicit. Let's have a look at the demo um, worksheet. So 
basically it's nice and clear what it's about um, and I always create a text box for them to write their answers in uh, should I say a table so to do that just go insert table with one column one row and that would look something like this you can modify the size of it whatever I don't know why that's bigger but anyway so that just sort of gives them an idea where they're meant to write their work or write their responses I mean this is a very boring way of doing work obviously you can be more creative by using perhaps a Google slideshow and make a copy for them as well so if I were to do that um, I could set this up to have a heading and then create a few pre-made slides um, get them to add some photos or whatever they're doing be creative with that obviously make it very explicit what they need to do so it's not confusing for them given that you're not there to explain it in person um, give a due date of course you can set a point scale you could leave it, leave it as unmarked select your topic here as I said before um, if you're feeling really adventurous try the rubric feature you can assign the task or you can schedule it or you can save it as a draft for later when students are working on a task if you are running a remote lesson for example um, you would direct students to this assignment in the stream so when you are putting your um, opening comment in the stream you're getting students to mark themselves as present and then um, you might say today we, you'd probably also have a link to your um, lesson plan here I would have them saved as a separate Google Doc as well and they can refer to that also just in the explanation here you can direct them to the classwork tab or the classwork page and to go and find the particular assignment they're working on uh, and what topic it might be under tell them what to do in the instructions go and open up the particular document tell them to work on it there and then and that you'll be checking it as you go as they go how do you check their work as they go when you click on view assignment and it brings up their work it should bring up their worksheet but it's not why is that there we go you can click on one of the students worksheets that's been assigned to them and then if they are online you will see that they are here and you should see them working live on the document to which you can then come along and add comments as you go so if they're stuck on something or you want to talk to them hear about something you can do that here you can then go through all the students that the task is assigned to either that way or you can just scroll through so as you're running your remote lesson you can actually see um, the work of students as they go and keep a good eye on things during the session always remembering to come back to the stream and see if anyone's got any questions in your original post if you want to see how students are going with their work you can click on the people tab choose a person and you can see all their work what's missing what's been handed in and you can go and open those assignments from there and take a closer look in the classwork tab you can reuse a post so it's recommended that you have more than one teacher if you have another teacher doing the same class as you join up together so you can actually reuse each other's posts so I can go out of here and go to any class and up use any post from any class that I am in or that I have created myself another thing you can do is create a question for online discussion um, it can be whatever you want it to be you can get the students to provide a short answer or multiple choice it's not a quiz or anything like that but it is a way of getting some feedback and you can set it so that students can reply to each other which is great for that um, discussion um, students might want to be able to edit their answer as well you can post materials for your class however it's probably best that you keep the materials in each assignment creating a quiz assignment well that's probably a, another video um, but that's a great feature as well I think that's about it 
Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.